Hey guys, so yes, I'm going and um, pretty much just want to cover these last two posts by Q. Pretty much, you know, people have done a lot on them, covered and uncovered a lot. I think they're, as usual, many levels to sometimes to think things that Q does in posts. Now the Anons have found out that this is in um, this is the Hyatt Regional in Chi Chong or somewhere in China. Um, but now what I'm about to say is all just uh, hypothesizing and theorizing but uh, things comes to come to me that uh, you know I like to concentrate on the big picture and other levels I let people take care of the other details because that's you know I'm not very good at that and obviously when I go for the bigger a bigger picture and maybe connect dots and see, you know, go for pattern rec recognition. You know, there's definitely a chance where you could be just, it could be completely uh, off the mark. But anyway, I'm um, putting it out there and whatever is whatever. Now, th look at this picture. Now, what? What is a smack bang in the middle of that picture? You might say, oh, it's a Christmas tree. Tree. It's a tree. Okay. Because Q, Q could have posted this uh, without the tree and, you know, nons would have got it with or without the tree. But in the middle of that picture is a tree. Now, up here Q says a picture is worth many sentences. And yes, people have come out and said, you know, that uh, it's got to do with that uh, retweet by Trump where all the bad actors were behind bars and, you know, were ready for um, people to go to jail for treason. Um, and I think that's all absolutely right. Um, I think Q is also could be telling us something, uh, another level to this. Uh, a picture is worth many sentences. Now, don't forget, we've got a tree smack bang in the middle of this photo, which he didn't need to put in. Okay, maybe he wanted to, you know, say the time of the year, whatever, uh, or so that's the time when, um, um, Hillary was there, but he says up here, a picture is worth many sentences. Now, normally the, the, uh, the cliched sort of, um, sentence or, you know, what do you call it, uh, metaphor or whatever is, you know, the common one that everybody, most people have heard of is a picture is worth a thousand words. Keep that number in uh, uh, mind. A picture is worth a thousand words. Now, why would Q leave that out? What I'm about to sort of hypothesize is, well, did Q want us to think about a thousand? Um, which is what I did. Uh, and I went back to this. Thousand oaks killing. A thousand oaks killing. Oaks. Tree. Tree in the middle of that foyer, in the middle of that photo. Tree. Okay, let's go back to the queue. Now it says locked and who is loaded. Um, so. This HRC, HRC Hillary, 
locked and loaded and he also said at the bottom of this photo you know, in that book give me liberty or give me death that's reference that number could be we know so he's telling you we know so what I'm hypothesizing is uh, this is basically possibly you know bloodlines against bloodlines or you know I don't know if Trump's aligned with any bloodline or whatever but um, not all the bloodlines have to be bad at this stage so you've got the bloodlines of the Illuminati what's another name for bloodlines family trees okay bloodlines family trees let's go back to this picture is worth many sentences why did he chop out the 1000 words trees tree in the middle of that picture 1000 oaks shooting let's go back here locked and who is loaded uh, now there was another killing where was it? It was at the Tree of Life Synagogue shooting. Uh, that shooting. Tree of Life. What do we have in the middle of this picture? A tree. Family trees of the Illuminati. Locked and loaded. This locked and loaded okay this was a shooting this was a shooting so is Q saying we know we know who is locked and loaded do they have proof that Hillary was basically responsible for the tree of life killing and the thousand oaks shooting now you also had this uh, I know it's Christmas time so well Q says there's no coincidence and you know there was reportedly a assassination attempt on uh, on um, President Trump, right when he was standing, or oh, not assassination attempt, but there was that, that red laser pointing his heart, I think it was. And he, when he was standing right in front of this tree. Okay. So, what I'm suggesting is, Q is saying, they have pictures, they know. Who was really responsible? Their queue is locked and loaded with pictures of who or knowledge of who was really responsible for the Tree of Life synagogue shooting and the 1000 Oaks shooting. And all is this all tied up? with the family trees of the Illuminati a picture is worth many sentences a picture is a picture is worth 1000 words there's a Christmas tree now how many words <laughs> did it take for me to go through this probably a thousand I don't know um, a picture is worth, normally it's 1,000 words, a tree, 1,000 oaks shooting, tree of life shooting, attempted assassination maybe of Trump in front of a tree, coincidence, locked and loaded. So, my question is, Q 
Q is saying we know. So it's Q saying they know who is responsible. And is it HRC since this is H Hyatt Regency in China Chi 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 Kong <laughs> uh, starts with C I think anyway. So that's HRC. So basically is um And no doubt Hillary's doing all, what's behind Hillary? Uh, the family trees of the Illuminati. I don't think, maybe, I don't know if your Clintons are part of the tree, or I don't know, but, uh, you know, if they're not part of the family trees, they're, their bosses, their, you know, masters would be the family trees of the Illuminati. So there you go, there's another spin on things. I just thought, why there's a tree? <laughs> Coincidence uh, that it's Christmas, yeah. Uh, but also, there's a tree, smack bang. Huge tree, smack bang in the middle of um, the picture. And I'm relating it back to the 1000 oak shooting, the tree of life shooting, Attempted assassination of Trump right in front of that huge tree, which may or may not be related, but uh, no coincidences. So as Q saying, we know, uh, basically, as he's saying, not only you're locked and loaded with the Supreme Court and the Senate, etc. Locked and loaded, is he saying, is he telling Hillary, we know that you are, you and your masters are behind the tree of life shooting and the Thousand Oaks shooting. Now, Q, Q obviously couldn't come out straight, straight out and say that. It's just interesting to me. Obviously, you know, you've got the many sentences. Many sentences. Yep, totally, I agree with that. You know, that's, I would say, definitely related to the um, retweet by Trump of all the bad actors behind the bars. But uh, it could be sending another message to HRC saying, uh, we know, we know who is locked and loaded, who has been locked and loaded, who is responsible for these killings, and is it related to the bloodlines of the Illuminati. That's another spin on things, could be totally wrong, maybe I'm applying, you know, getting too analytical and too much uh, pattern recognition and uh, big picture thinking, but there you go, it is a bit of a risk when you sort of do this stuff, I'm just putting it out there just in case anybody uh, has any further thoughts on this and another way to look at things, but we do have a tree and smack bang in the middle of a picture with somewhere a queue underneath saying we know, so yeah. And a picture is worth many sentences, usually that says a picture is worth 1,000 words, what do we have here, 1,000 oak shooting, uh, we have a tree in the middle of that photo, tree of life shooting, 1,000 oaks, daddy, bloody daddy. Cheers.